Oh, but it's Golden Blessing off the back. Sprinter three lengths clear. High in space, second, followed by Modern Gossip. It's Golden Blessing in front, careering away, and it's Golden Blessing's Mumba Australian Cup by five lengths, running away in the last little bit. If you're one of the thousands of people struggling to buy a home at the moment, you might not believe it, but things could be worse. You could be trying to buy a property. Yes, fastest horses, Snippets and Special, will have their own show down in Saturday's $400,000 Newmarket Handicap. Snippets galloped brilliantly in a special trial this morning. Meanwhile, incredibly, the VRC received criticism today from Connections of Vogue because of their special arrangements to have Bone Crusher in Melbourne for Monday's Australian Cup. The owners of Vaux Rogue may be upset that the VRC has chartered a special flight for the Bone Crusher, but Vic Rail is looking forward to the confrontation. But I hope it gets the easier they are, the better I like them. <laughs> As usual, Vaux Rogue enjoyed himself this morning, trotting and cantering with his mate Vic Rail. He can't go next much faster, but next Monday he will. That's the day Vaux Rogue will take on the mighty Bone Crusher in the Australian Cup. Last Saturday, the record breaker won the toughest race of his life. It was a good hard run, but he, you know, they've got to do that occasionally, haven't they? He's got to clean his wind up out sometime. Much has been written and spoken about Vaux Rogue's forgettable coat and confirmation, but the more he wins, the better he looks. He's got a good head in that on him, really. not Well put together, you know, if you have a good look at him. This morning produced a rare moment when Vaux Rogue and Snippets, the champion colt, who is favourite for Saturday's new market, pose for a photograph. Snippets had been floated to Flemington for a barrier trial, and with Peter Cook flying in from Sydney to ride him, Snippets worked brilliantly. He outclassed change of habit, clocking a fantastic 46.05 seconds for 800. Snippets pulled up perfectly and maintains his position as the one to beat in the glamour sprint. And prize money for this year's Grand National Hurdle and steeple races received a big boost today with the news the two events have another sponsor. The VRC has announced South Australian company Dominant, who manufacture house care products, will sponsor the two events for the next three years. This year's Grand National Steeple will carry prize money totalling $120,000, an increase of $20,000, and the hurdle will be worth $100,000, a jump of $25,000. Well, at Geelong today, the Quadrilla on 4, 9, 3 and 4 paid $474.70. The Quad Extra, 10, 3, 4, 2, 745, 10. Daily Double on 10 and 4, $13.45. And the Extra Double on 3 and 2, $21.90. 160 of the world's top handball players. At his biggest pay night last night, when his dog Golden Blessing won the Australian Cup at Olympic Park. After legal action had threatened the race yesterday, Golden Blessing went out and blitzed the field in Australia's richest race and equalled the track record in the process. With all the pre-race drama finally decided, the Greyhounds paraded at 9.30 last night and the big crowd sorted out the red modern gossip and the Czech calamity kid as the ones to beat. And then it was time to race for the $50,000 winner's check. Golden Blessing and Modern Gossip High Space showing pace, Tim Hardy. Calamity Kid is third last on the first turn. They spear into the back and Golden Blessing went to the leader length. High in Space races to second, Modern Gossip third. They were followed then by Calamity Kid running on. Tim Hardy, Faust Legend and then further back Blackwood Earl and final stride last of all but it's Golden Blessing off the back. Sprinter three lengths clear, High in Space second followed by Modern Gossip. It's Golden Blessing in front careering away and it's Golden Blessing's Mumba Australia. Cup. Minutes after Golden Blessing's brilliant win, I spoke with trainer Ray Rounds, who is an obviously delighted man. But I absolutely feel fantastic. I mean, thanks to this boy here, it's fantastic. I can't believe it. Golden Blessing's winning margin was four and a quarter lengths, but perhaps one of the most significant parts of the win was that its time was 29.59, an equal track record at Olympic Park. And Jennifer, that's all in sport tonight. Thanks, Drew. Let's hope that uh, Cyclone Bowler subsides so we can see Bone Crusher. Yes, if it doesn't, well, the race, well, the match race mightn't really happen. Oh, well, keep our fingers crossed. Paul, do we have a cool change on the way?